Now your girl loves to keep her skin as soft as possible. Body scrubs are one of the ways that I do that. They help to get rid of cellulite, they also help to reduce the appearance of stretch marks, and they leave you with silky soft skin. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all a few of my favorite body scrubs in order to get that skin nice and soft for the summertime. Beautiful skin is a must. Make sure that you continue watching this video in order to achieve it. Everyone is always asking about my legs. Maddie, what do you use on your legs? How do you keep your legs so nice, smooth, and shiny? And I always have to share with them, well, there's this specific mixture that I use. So now whenever people ask me this question, I can just share this video with them. You guys, this is super easy and very simple to make. And I hope that you guys enjoy and find this video helpful. First and foremost, you are of course going to need a mixing bowl and today I am starting off with some good old brown sugar. Now if you know anything about brown sugar, you probably know that it's extremely moisturizing. Brown sugar naturally exfoliates and removes dead cells. It hydrates the skin and promotes healthy skin cleansing and circulation. Next, I will also be adding in some organic sweet almond oil. Now you can use any carrier oil of your choice. Almond oil is great for moisturizing your skin and it also is a great emollient. Sweet almond oil promotes smooth, youthful, blemish-free skin by boosting collagen production, keeping it hydrated and supple. And last but not least, I will be adding in a few drops of lavender oil, which is optional. But lavender oil is great for aromatherapy, so if you're going to be using this scrub while you're in the shower, it is great to help you to be able to relax after you get out of the shower. I'd suggest using this scrub at night for amazing benefits and also to rest peacefully that night. And after you complete the third and final step, you can then mix all three of these ingredients together and voila you have yourself a nice scrub for you to be able to get some extremely soft legs overnight now if you are planning to make a significant amount of this brown sugar scrub you can store it for about three months if it's stored properly it should last about three months but I typically make mine in smaller portions and as I go I'll make another batch and another batch but whatever floats your boat is what will work just fine for you. Just make sure that you are not keeping this scrub longer than three months. And voila, you guys, that is it for this video. Make sure that you apply this up to three times a week for the best results. And if you have sensitive skin, you can apply it one to two times a week. So I will be starting off with some coconut oil. After all, this is a scrub, so you're going to need some coconut oil and also a carrier oil of your choice, which I'm going to share with you guys exactly which one I chose in a second. But you could use any coconut oil of your choice. I'm going to be adding in two tablespoons of this, and you could place this in the microwave for a few seconds if you'd like for your coconut oil to be melted. I'm going for a certain type of consistency, so I'm not putting mine in the microwave because I know that I would melt mine a little bit too much. And moving right along, I will be using my Vaseline. Now you could use any petroleum jelly of your choice. It does not have to be Vaseline specifically. I think that a lot of people forget that Vaseline is actually a brand and petroleum jelly is a thing, okay? So use whichever petroleum jelly that you choose to. And I'm going to be adding in about one teaspoon of Vaseline. Y'all see my mama being silly and sticking her hand in the camera while I'm recording. <laughs> I'm going to be using some grapeseed oil and I will be adding in about two tablespoons of this. 
Now, actually, you could use any carrier oil of your choice, whether it be jojoba oil, olive oil, any type of oil, you could use it, okay? Now, one thing that I will mention about this mixture is you can clog your drain up very fast with this. Trust me, I am the queen of clogging up drains. So I do want to put that out there to all of you guys that are interested in using this. And moving along to the next step, I'm going to be adding in some granulated sugar. Now, typically, whenever it comes to mixtures, I'll use brown sugar, but today I'm going to be adding in two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now, let me tell y'all why I love brown sugar, because it is more moisturizing than any other sugar that you could possibly use. But today I decided to work with the granulated sugar because it works just as good. I think that it is a little bit more rough on the skin, helping to, I guess, plump up the skin in its firmness a lot faster. But if you are someone with sensitive skin, I don't think that you would enjoy this mixture too much. So make sure that you use it less. I'd recommend to anyone that is looking to use this for bomb growth, you can use this a few times a week. But if you're someone with more sensitive skin, tone it down to maybe about two to three times per week. And after you are finished mixing up your mixture, it is then ready to be applied. Now I'd recommend using this specifically while you're in the shower, rinse off, and once you get out, apply yourself something that is very moisturizing. Whatever lotion you love to use, Y'all know that I'm a Nivea girl. I absolutely love all the Nivea lotions because they are extremely moisturizing. And I believe that they also help to lock in the moisture from things like this that you use while you're in the shower. And those are all the body scrubs that I had to share with you all on today. If you aren't already subscribed and a part of the Glam Fam, girl, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button in order to join the family. And I'm going to see you all in my next video. If you don't do anything else, always remember to keep glamming. Bye!